area where they can come for girls in the morning uh, and boys in the afternoon because just because of the numbers we can't have all of them at the same time uh, and they, it's a space for them not just to learn to get an education but also to be kids again we, we have we have had this program going to the tents telling the parents how important it is to let their kids go to school even for them as parents have a break you know it's like for three hours, you know, we can we can be on our own. I mean, we have cases, and sometimes it's a bit difficult for for like teenage girls uh, that they should stay in the tents, and we try to advocate that also for their own protection. So that there's a there's a there's, there's a problem with a lot of the students coming across that there's a tradition to marry girls quite early here, and you've seen the camp teenage girls that are pregnant, 15 year old, 16 year old girls that are pregnant. So you see less teenage girls here, but the younger ones, they, they, they're very keen to see having them, having them in school. We speak to a lot of kids here who are 10, 11, 12, and it's quite scary how, how mature they are, because they've been taking a lot of responsibility, taking care, taking care of their younger siblings, maybe sometimes taking care of the, the mother, maybe because the, the father is not here anymore, he went back to Syria for, for various reasons. Um, so they've grown up very fast in the last year or so.